random guy. Weird, huh? Okay, now, okay, this is a story. Does anybody know who uh, who Sam the Bellhop is? Oh, you were of course. You weren't the Sheraton. It's a joke. <laughs> you know, you're close. Well, he actually, he is. He does work at a, at a hotel right down the street. Um, I don't remember the name of the hotel, but he works down there. I swear. Um, now, this is the story of Sam the Bellhop. Okay. Now, Sam the Bellhop, he was working, uh, and it was a real. It was kind of raining out. It was a real slow night. Uh, it was pretty slow, kind of like tonight, yeah. Um, and. <laughs> And all of a sudden, you know, he was just sitting, he was pretty bored, yeah? And all of a sudden, the doors, they swung open, and in walked four guys. They were all dressed like kings. Yeah? Now, they come in, you know, they get checked into the room, and they come back down to the lobby, and they're sitting there for a while. Uh, and they, they decide that they, they, wanna, they want some ladies. <laughs> they want some ladies, yeah? So, what they do is they call Sam over here, and, or Sam over, and they're like, Sam, uh, we, we need some ladies. You think you can help us out? And Sam's like, I don't know, it's kind of early, but I'll see what I can do. Can you cut the cards for me? Perfect. So what Sam does is he goes out and he walks one, two, three blocks, and he comes back. All right, I can cut the cards, it'd be great. Three blocks, and he comes back, he says, well, the best I can do is a couple of brunettes and a couple of redheads. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, Sam, they're beautiful. That's where, where you at? Oh, I found them at the 654 Club, right down the block. And they're like, Sam, that's fantastic. Here you go, here's a $2, a $2 tip. So the guys that are girls, you know, they're sitting there and they're talking for a while, and they decide that they want to play some cards. The only problem is they don't have enough card players. So they call Sam back over, and they're like, Sam, We'd like to play some cards, we just don't have enough people. Is there any way you could help us out and find us some more people to play some cards? Yeah? Uh, and Sam's like, I, I don't know, it's still kind of early. Can you cut, cut the cards for me? So what Sam does, again he goes out and he walks. One. Three blocks and he comes back and he says, well, I found some guys for you, but they're all named Jack. And they're like, Sam, that's fantastic. We finally got enough people to play some cards. By the way, where'd you find him at? He's like, oh, I found him at the 654 Club. Right down the block. And they're like, Sam, that's fantastic. You know, we really appreciate, appreciate it. Here you go. Here's another $2 tip. $2 tip. Big spenders, huh? So the guys and the girls are playing cards, you know, and uh, the kings, they run into a little bit of bad luck. The only problem is uh, they don't they don't have uh, any cash, and they owe the ladies some money. So... <laughs> What they do is they call Sam over. They're like, "Hey, Sam, we uh, we got, we we owe the lady some money, but we don't have any cash. We have a couple of checks. Do you think it's possible for you to cash some checks for us?" Uh, and Sam's like, "Just a little early, but I'll see. Can you cut the cards?" Go. So, what Sam does is he goes out and he walks. He walks. He walks one. Two, three blocks, and he comes back and he said, Well, I tried to find you some 20s, but the best I could do was four tens. Three tens. Four tens. Four tens. And they're like, Sam, thanks, we can pay the ladies. Here you go, here's another two dollar tip. Two dollars. So, so the girls, they leave, uh, and the, the kings are kind of sitting there for a while, and uh, they get a little bit of a bet going. Uh, and they're like, they call Sam back over, they're like, we put a little wager on this, we figured you'd be a pretty young guy, yeah? We figured you'd be about, what, 38? He said, well, that's close, I'm 39. He said, do you live here in, in, uh, in town? He's like, oh, I live in the classy part of town. I live in Waipahu. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. Wow. It's, wow. That's okay. Um, so, they're like, well, where do you live? He said, oh, I live at 1329 West 8th Street. And he said, do you gamble a lot? He said, yeah, I gamble every day down at the 654 Club, right down the block. And they're like, well, do you ever, do you ever see any good hands? Uh, and he said, well, you never believe it. I was there about three nights ago, and a guy named Steve, he flipped over his cars, and he had three sevens and a pair of eights. And they're like, that's a full house. Did he win? They're like, no, this other guy, Adam, he was there. He flipped over his cards, and he had three aces and a pair of nines. Well, that's an even better full house. He must have won. That's a great full house. Uh, actually, Dennis the Magician was there. He flipped over his cards, and he had a straight flush. And that is the story of Sam the Bellhop. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.